They're being portrayed as a threat to the Russian authorities in the run-up to parliamentary elections. Racist slogans were heard among the crowd as some 7,000 radical nationalists joined an annual demonstration known as the Russian March. They're united in anger at corruption, crime, immigration. Subsidies for the Caucasus regions are another source of complaint. Look at Chechnya swimming in luxury and money, he says. Look at its leaders' motorcades. Look at the skyscrapers they're building. This nationalist leader claims in contrast to the wealth of the Caucasus, many other Russian regions are in ruins. The money should be spent there, he says. In December last year, a crowd swarmed at the Kremlin's gates after a Spartak Moscow football fan was killed by a Muslim migrant in a street brawl. The demonstrators chanted nationalist slogans such as Russia for Russians and clashed with security forces. Passers-by who appeared to be from the Caucasus were reportedly attacked in broad daylight. There's little evidence of an increase in support for radical groups, but some analysts are worried that their ideas are taking hold. The ideas that nationalists are suggesting are slowly becoming mainstream ones, he says. Not immediately, of course, but if you look over a longer period of time, the last 20 years, we can see that a lot of ideas that seemed totally radical and were voiced only by marginal politicians are now voiced by respectable people. This is a very dangerous shift because it can make the country far more radical. There are estimates that up to 8 million illegal migrants have entered Russia from the Central Asian and Caucasian states. At the same time, the nationalist rallies have become more frequent. Analysts say the government has surfed on xenophobic sentiment. <coughs> now there are warnings that the conflict could end in bloodshed and even civil war if the Russian government doesn't stop the nationalists. From 40 to 50,000 people gather at the mosque every Friday, says the head of this migrants' community group. Do you really want to provoke them? Half of them are as brainless as those protesting in the square. Do you really want them to clash? Some see signs that the authorities recognize the wave of anti-immigrant feeling is a dangerous problem. Figures show an increasing number of nationalist organizations being closed down and of convictions for far-right extremism.